cookies are having themselves an old fashioned throw. Yeah, Norma's back here trying to break it up. <laughs> Good luck. Either one of those girls can pick his skinny little ass on their own, not to mention the tag team. What started it? What else? Two fine proud sisters standing tall, lowering themselves into the mud to fight over some totally unworthy man. Well, I wouldn't say totally unworthy. Oh, I should have known. What'd you do now? Now, hold on a second. Why do you just assume I did something wrong? He told Marina that he loved her, and the next week he was catting around with a little sucky on the side. No, no, no. I never said I loved her. That's a cheap boy, and I don't go there. I said that she was a unique creature, unlike any other. A unique creature, unlike any other. Yeah. Man, I'm totally stealing. Oh, works like a charm. I mean, you can almost literally watch them melt. Please, you're making me sick. <laughs> Suck, sure can't pack a wallop when she has a mind to. What are you doing standing around? Huh? Back to work. Not to see. Show's over. Biff. I'm gonna see if my girls need some comfort. Yeah, me too. I expected when I hired a man in possession of your raw animal charisma, there'd be some kind of future, uh... Le Fair de Cour. Normal, I promise it won't happen again. See, it doesn't. Hell hath no fury in a woman's scorn, my boy. That's where there are rules at this establishment forbidding office for romance. Not to mention good old common sense. Get a move on, little missy. Well, those girls quit without notice, so it's unpaid overtime for the lot of you. What? I have plans tonight. Oh. Well, cancel. Away. Alec, honey. Yo. Could you come here for a minute? The girls need to have a word with you. <laughs> what do you think they want? Sounds to me like they stopped fighting each other and figured out who they should really be mad at. Good luck. Hmm. Hold on, Max. I'll tag along. I mean, it's not like I intended to date them both at the same time. And then when it turned out that I was dating them both at the same time, it's not like I didn't intend to tell both girls about the other one. You know, eventually. Oh my God. <laughs> but let's be real for a moment, shall we? I mean, suppose I did tell him. What would happen, huh? Same thing. Big fight. Lots of anger and resentment and recriminations. And then who wins? Nobody wins. Well, at least in this case, you won. Exactly. Well, no. Seeing as how neither of them are speaking to me right now, which makes any kind of sex a virtual impossibility. At least for a couple of days. Do me a favor. Shut up and ring the buzzer. Hmm? Yeah. Have you been briefed on your target X-5 before? Yes, sir. We've established a cover for you. Buzzer? Is that little button right there below the sign that says please bring buzzer for entry? No one's home. Give him a chance. From the looks of this place, it probably takes ten minutes just to get from the kitchen to the front door. Okay, thanks. Right. No one's home. Let's go. We didn't get a signature. He said, let's go. They designed her to be the perfect soldier, a human weapon. Then she escaped. In a future not far from now, in a broken world, she is haunted by her past. She cannot run. She must fight to discover her destiny.
how late we are. Can't this thing go any faster? Hey, cut Bessie a little slack. Considering the number of times she's been shot up and put back together, I'm lucky she even runs at all. Besides, we were already late when we got to my place. Don't even get me started. We were shorthanded at work. Just want to know why we were shorthanded? Well, if I had to guess, I'd say... Because of Alec. Ah, the latest adventures of Alec, the lovable X5 rogue. I can hardly wait. Like an idiot, he mixes business with pleasure and typically screws the whole thing up. It's not like he wasn't taught better. <laughs> you think they encouraged dating within your unit at Manicor? They didn't. Aside from the whole breeding partner thing. Oh, totally different situation. And also, may I add, disgusting. <laughs> First dinner party. Uh, it's be perfect, not just great. Uh. Trust me, everything is perfect. Perfect. Uh. Well, I am looking forward to spending some time with Joshua. Yeah, you know, I, I think you two will get along. Just, you know, remember to act natural. As opposed to to the unnatural way I normally act. No. You know what I mean? Just, just don't stare. Oh, okay. Don't stare at the genetically engineered part man and part dog guy. Got it. <laughs> he just has weird table manners and his hygiene's a little questionable. Max, I know how to handle myself at a dinner party. I know. I'm just saying. Of course you do. Fix myself a dry martini and let me ask after a stop option. <laughs> Welcome to my house. <laughs> a lovely house it is, too. Mm. And to commemorate, it's a bottle of pre-pulse Chardonnay. I, I didn't know what we were having, so I... I uh, I thought White would... No, inside there. Oh. <laughs> I thought White would be a good idea. It's a safe choice. Well, having macaroni and cheese and little, little hot dogs. <sighs> dogs. That sounds good. What else? What else? Are we having any? Anything else? What else do you need? Right. That's a good point. But I mean, yum. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Joshua, the table looks great. Thanks. <laughs> Who's the fifth place for? Hey, Max. Nice, nice weather we're having. And not a lot of rain, which is unusual this time of year. Irish pitch going down. Max and Rogan getting busy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, you know, we're looking for a, we're, we're hoping. No sex or politics at the dinner table, Bill. Oh, sorry, sorry. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Hey, Max, could you pass the ketchup, please? Oh, you mean this unique ketchup unlike any other? Don't you lay off, huh? Mac and cheese overdone? No, it's great. He's upset about something else. I'm upset? That boy's so spun his head's gonna fly out. Yeah, why don't you use up on him, Max? Fine. But 
we have to do double shifts for the rest of the week because of him. Well, far be it from me to defend Alec, but he didn't exactly force those girls to quit. And if you didn't tell either one of them it was exclusive, then what's so terrible about dating them both for a couple weeks? They work together. Yeah, well, it's not like they were sisters or something. <laughs> Men. Dogs. No difference. Yes, sir, Robert Beresford, 58 years old, widow, CEO of Mercedine and one of Manicor's subcontractors. We've established a cover for you. Did you know he could play? Who cares? work, X5494. Thank you, sir. I understand this will be your first deep cover mission. Yes, sir. He's had four successful away missions, but nothing long-term in the field. We've been prepping him for the last year. I want him deployed by the end of the week. Simon Lahane. This way. Have you been briefed on your target X five four nine four? Yes, sir, Robert Beresford. Our intelligence indicates that Beresford's been curious lately about the work we do here, asking questions he shouldn't. Close surveillance has become a necessity. Yes, sir. We've established a cover for you. Initially, your primary contact will be with his daughter. 
Yes, sir. According to the file, her name is Rachel. She's 17, only child. Mother died when she was 10. She's a good student. Excels in history and communications. Expanding your repertoire. Simon's much more fun than my last teacher. He wouldn't let me play anything but Chopin or Mozart. I'm all for mixing it up a little. Keeps things interesting. Robert Beresford, Simon Lehane. Good to meet you. Don't let me interrupt. So use any excuse to avoid lessons and practice. Daddy. Be firm. Father seems nice. He's great. It's just been the two of us, though, since my mom died. Are you close to your parents? No, it's just me. That's OK. They died a long time ago. I don't really remember them. They must have been really rough on you. I'm supposed to be playing piano, not talking about my sad childhood. You understand your assignment? No! Thanks for dinner. Yes, sir. I've been invited to dinner. When? Tonight, sir. We had no idea your relationship with Beresford progressed this far. It wasn't Beresford who invited me, sir. It was the daughter. Really? Yes, sir. Under the impression there's a romantic interest on her part? Do you think she likes you? She's given every indication that she enjoys my company, sir. Play along, 494. This can bring you beneficial access. Yes, sir.
shouldn't be gone to all your fathers. My father is busy with his cronies talking business. He'd be bored. Well, maybe not. You're a funny one. I am? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Most boys would much rather spend a few minutes alone with a girl than sit in some smoke-filled room talking about genetics. Oh, well, I'm not much boys. I know. Do you want to go for a swim? All right. Can you um, turn around? Yeah. In case you hadn't noticed, I've been sort of throwing myself at you for the past few weeks. <laughs> Don't you like me? I like you. is to follow our orders. Let's go, people! These packages aren't going to sprout little feet and walk on by themselves. Well, well, well. If it isn't the late as usual and doesn't even do the job she's been assigned to when she is working, person. It's got you all rotated. You neglected to get a signature on that delivery to Sector 10 yesterday. That was Alex's fault. Make him do it. No, Romeo called in sick. Typical. And hurry back. With Alec out, hurry in a little Suki gone. We're short three men, so to speak. Jam Pony Messenger, we delivered a package here yesterday. Can I get a signature? R. Beresford. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Looking for the bathroom. Um, the bathroom's down the other hallway. Right. I know, I can't help it. You've got me all turned around. <laughs> shaking. 
They are. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? I'm just happy. Big fella, what you working on? Josh Law, number 57. Nice. What is it? Alec. Alec, very complicated. Listen, Joshua. I know you and Alec have fun. Huh? But he's not someone you could trust all the time. Especially now that he's acting so weird. You think Alec can outsmart me? No, not at all. Alec only outsmarts Alec. He doesn't know himself. Look. Outside. Lots of pretty colors. Huh? Tricks and treats. Inside darkness. Confusion. Alec. What's he all dark and confused about? Manticore. What's up with your boy? He's not my boy, and I don't know. I've never seen him like this. Anguished and all oh, Heathcliff-like. No wonder the straight women fall for the torture types. Please. I know I'm gonna regret this, but I should see if he's okay. Take your time. I got my eye on this fine shorty at the pool table. Jam. Okay, you're crazy. What about the locket? Steal it or something? I went back to that house to get a signature. Saw the locket you've got in a portrait. Now I'm all curious. Curiosity killed the cat, Max. Stay out of my business. Fine. You know, we don't always get along. Nicely understated. Barkeep! But if you're in some kind of trouble and you need my help, then you should ask him now and not wait till it's too late and everything's all messed up like you usually do. Well, I appreciate the offer, Max. I really do. But you don't know what you're talking about. Then explain it to me. I would, see, but you wouldn't understand. You can't understand. You weren't there. You ran. You and your little rugrat brothers and sisters. You think life was rough when we were 10? Little schooling, little brainwashing, some maneuvers outside, you think that was tough? Suck pretty hard. Well, take it from me, later on I got a whole lot worse. But you did what you had to do, and you tried to forget. And when you couldn't forget, they had ways of making you not care. Sorry. I don't want your pity. I want your absence. Maybe you love. Oh, 
Simon LaHaye. Hey. Hey. What's up? Can you pull up some information on a guy? It's what I do. You got a name? Beresford. First initial R. Yeah. Beresford's acquired some damaging information about Manicorp, and has plans to alert his friend in the Senate. This might be a good time to send a message to all our suppliers. Something decisive. Eliminate the target tomorrow. According to reports, he takes his daughter to school in the morning? Yes, sir. Take them both out. That's pretty decisive. You better get back there. Lesson starts at four, doesn't it? I got something. Robert Beresford. Who is he? Former CEO of Mercedine Pharmaceuticals. I specialized in cutting edge gene splicing techniques and stem cell research. At least they did until two years ago when someone planted a bomb under Beresford's car. What are you saying? Is he dead? No. Caught a lucky break, I guess. A few days later, he made a deal with the FBI. So the feds bought him protection from whoever wanted him dead, and in return, he got out of the genome business. Closed the company and retired. What does this have to do with Alec? Looks like Beresford's company had several government contracts, including the CDC. But given the givens, can you guess who their biggest client probably was? Gene splicing and stem cells. Sounds like Manicore to me. Certainly looks like their handiwork. Think Alec was responsible? He was a true blue soldier back then. Maybe he drew the assignment. He said there were things he wanted to forget. Let's say I'm right. Alec tries to kill Beresford, but the mission goes sideways. What if a very much alive and probably pissed off Beresford got a glimpse of Alec when you two made your run to his house the other day? So he hires some guys to take out Alec as revenge. Now Alec knows he's been made. He knows the man he tried to kill is gunning for him. What does he do? What's he been trained to do? Take him out first. What are you gonna do? Try to stop him from doing something stupid. I know. Be careful. Have a seat, son. Want a drink? No, thank you, sir. I don't usually partake in the middle of the day myself, but uh, some business problems, that's all. 
I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm afraid your services won't be needed after this week. I'm sending Rachel away for a while. Oh, to visit her grandparents in New York. I haven't told her yet. I'd appreciate if uh, you kept that between the two of us for the time being. Yes, sir. Must be nice. Sir, to be young, like yourself. No responsibilities or cares. Yes, sir. And once you have children, everything changes. You try to do the right thing because you want them to be proud of you, but sometimes the right thing can go so wrong. Anyway, I envy you. Hey, someone's late for my lesson. You kids go ahead. You understand your assignment? Yes, sir, it's just... It's just what, 494? Sir, I can eliminate Beresford without involving your daughter. It just seems to me the collateral damage is an unnecessary. You're not in charge of this mission, 494. Your job and your only thought is to follow our orders. Yes, sir. Are you capable of doing that? Yes, sir. Because if for some reason we lost confidence in you, we'd have no need for you. No, sir. So we're clear then. Crystal, sir. Listen to me. You and your father need to leave town right now. Why? I'll cover for you. I'll tell them that you're left in the middle of the night, but you have got to go now. You're hurting me. Come with me. No, tell me what's happening. I was sent here to kill your father. It was my job. You were my job.
Welcome back, Simon. You came into my house. You pretended to care for my child. I did. Care. Shut up! Don't lie to me! You made the phone calls. You played the music. To get you back here. What are you gonna do now? What do you think I'm gonna do? Tell me one thing first. What? What happened to Rachel? They didn't tell you. No. She saved my life, that's what happened. If it weren't for Rachel, I would have been sitting in that car. But she wasn't that lucky. A blast knocked her unconscious. She fell into a coma. She never woke up. been dying for two years. Do you have any idea what that's like? Watching somebody you love slip away from you every day? Do you have any idea what you've done? What are you waiting for? I deserve it. Kill me. Do it! What are you doing here? Saving your ass. I told you to ask for my help before it was too late and you messed everything up. Would you leave me alone?
Max? Hey, Gage? Yeah, you haven't been by for a couple of days. I've been busy at work, covering for Alec. He's Highland sick. Anyway, I thought you might want to see this. Funerals today. So it's over. At least he had a chance to say goodbye. You think he really cared about her? He loved her. Well, he's gonna be going through a rough time. Might want to look out for him in the next few days. He doesn't want me looking out for him. He wants to be left alone. Pretend like it never happened. He's so cut off. Sounds like this girl I used to know. She was just looking out for herself. No responsibilities, no entanglements. Yeah. Did she get big enough? She ran far enough and fast enough. She'd forget all the things they made her do. But sooner or later, it always catches up to you. Learn that the hard way. Now it's Alex's turn. Come back here again. I thought I could kill you. I hate you that much. Even though she's gone and still Rachel's father, I still want to do the right thing. Make her proud of me. I don't want to be like you. Listen, if you ever want to talk. About what? About anything. Now why would I want to do that? Just consider the offer open. All right. 
Listen. Thanks for saving my ass. You're all right? I'm always all right.